Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kayla, um, and this is Bailey. I think everybody knows her. Um, so today is a travel day for me. I am moving on to my next adventure. You're leaving me. I'm leaving Bailey behind. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the drama. Uh, so basically, we drove down to the big city to... So you can leave. So I can so leave. So you can fly. So but can... we're here very early. Yes, we're here like four or five hours early. Yeah. Um, and so basically this is going to be like a full day travel vlog because we're here early, but I am flying for a long, a while later. Yeah, you have a layover. I have multiple flights yeah. later. Um, so yeah, uh, that's kind of it. I might, I'll probably read a book. I don't know if I will finish the said book that I need to read today. Um, but yeah, and then we are at a bookstore. I've never been to a Books A Million, and there yeah, is one here. There is one here. I've only been to this a couple times too, and I think you're gonna like it. So that's first on our list today, is this Books A Million. Yes. And then lunch. I think we're getting Wingstop for lunch. Yeah. Yep. Um, that's what I want. Cause that's what you want. And then also you don't get it as often as I could possibly. Yeah, I don't have it at home, but mm -hmm. I have one here. Yeah. So, I'm going to bring you along for our little adventure, and then I'll bring you along for my airplane ride. And your layover. And my layover. And then your other airplane ride. My other airplane ride. And then... Final I'll thoughts. And then I'll tell you what happens after you see everything else. Okay? So, this is probably the last time you are physically talking to Bailey. Oh, yeah, true. So... Love you guys. That's really sad. I'm sad that you're leaving today. I'm sad that I'm leaving today. I mean, you're going to have more fun because you are, like, continuing a trip. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just going to go home and take a bath and go to sleep at 7 p.m. tonight. <laughs> and that's good. I yeah. love that. I'm, it's what I want. Yeah, it is what you want. Um, it's been what you're trying, you've been trying to do for the last 10 days. Correct. <laughs> but, yeah, let's go to the Books A Million and let's see what happens. You. I haven't thought about you in a while I haven't thought about that beautiful smile And how it used to make my heart go wild Wild you You look deep into my eyes And all I could think was why Did I have to fall for you this time? To know how you're gonna treat me I need to know if you can really make me happy I need to know that I won't be lonely I need to know before I call you baby Baby I need to know before I call you baby You, you're really funny, I can't deny
Okay. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the video. Uh, it's definitely been a hot minute. Um, I had planned on finishing Briefly a Delicious Life this day, um, but when I got actually on my second flight of this video, I was too tired and didn't want to read, so I ended up listening to music and then basically uh, continued my trip which you'll see more of in the next video, the next vlog, which is the next vlog you'll see is go squash that series vlog. Um, that is coming, but basically, yeah, I didn't finish Briefly a Delicious Life in this video uh, thus far, but I have come back way later. I have finished it since then, and I'm just here to wrap up the video and wrap up Briefly a Delicious Life. So in Briefly A Delicious Life, we follow Blanca. Blanca is a ghost. She lives at kind of this like monastery type place. And basically she falls in love with this woman who is the lover of Chopin. So Chopin, the like pianist and George Sands show up with George's kids and Blanca kind of follows him around and basically just does ghostly things and follows this lady around and Chopin and yeah it's pretty good uh you follow that and then you also kind of follow like the backstory on how Blanca became a ghost and she's been a ghost for like hundreds and hundreds of years I think she became a ghost in like the 1400s and this book takes place in the 1800s um so she's been kind of around the block a little bit as a ghost and she's 14 it was good. I think I ended up giving it 3.5 stars and that is just because this time period and this group of people who are real people like Chopin and George Sand, they are not my hyperfixation history moment. Um, so that kind of pulled me out a little bit. And then I also read half of it in this vlog and then I read the other half post Squash That series. And I could have ended the vlog there, but I wanted to kind of talk about the book a little bit. Um, so because I took that kind of week break, it really pulled me out of it. I think if I had finished it that day, this probably would have been a five star book. Um, so I do recommend reading this probably in a shorter time frame than I read it in. But yeah, so that is that. If you want to hear more about this book, I will leave the Shelf This Book Club um, live discussion down below. Go ahead and go watch that. Lizzie and Bailey talk a lot more in depth about the book and you'll probably get more information from that. So this was just a little travel vlog with some b-roll and me talking at the end. It's not how I wanted the video to go. It's how the video went. That's fine. It happens sometimes. So yeah, that is everything that I have for you guys. Um, short, sweet, cute little vlog. Uh, yeah. The next Shelf This Book Club pick is The Shadow of Perseus by Claire Haywood, I hope. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And you will see this before April. So if you do want to read The Shadow of Perseus with us, the Shelf This link, all the Shelf This links are down below. I'll also leave Bailey's channel down below and Adriana. Adriana is the co-host for the month of April. But yeah. That is everything I have. So do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do to help out my channel. And I will check you guys in my next video. Bye.